Hey, Richard here. I'm covering some different subjects that have to do with lighting up your golf cart for a Christmas parade. Now this applies to a lot of different devices, but golf carts are what we're covering here. We're assuming that your golf cart is probably a 48 volt golf cart and you want to put some Christmas lights on. And you've discovered that your Christmas lights have to have some way to convert the power in the golf cart of 48 volts up to the 110 volts for your lights. Well, this is how that's done. And this is an inverter. And, it, and the inverter, the purpose of that is you'll notice the outlets here. This is going to bump the, up the 48 volts DC and change that to 110 volts AC so that you can power up to 410 watts worth of accessories. Now 410 watts is a lot. If you're using the low drain LED lights that are available in Home Depot, Lowe's and other places, Walmart and Costco, then 410 watts is a lot of power. So you can go a long ways on decorating your cart with that. Now on the other side, on the supply side, you have to have a lighter socket to power this or it has to be wired directly into your batteries. So the lighter socket, a lot of golf carts don't have that, so you may have to get one of those installed or you may have to, to have a converter put into your golf cart that converts your, uh, your electrical uh, 48 volts down to 12 in order to power this 12 volt accessory. So the other option is, is if you have a spare 12 volt battery in an unused vehicle, you can charge that up and then hook up directly to this. Most of these when you get them it'll have one set of wires that is a uh, lighter plug like this and another set that has alligator clips, uh, a large clip that you can uh, clamp on to the poles on the battery. And, that's, and so by using a single separated battery that separates the load from this from your golf cart system. The, the difficulty in using this is if you're in an area that's very hilly and the parade that you're doing is extremely long, this could drain your batteries enough in the golf cart to where you would have neither lights nor go power to make the golf cart go and to get you back home. By using a separate battery, that means the worst thing that could happen is your lights could go dead or dim and you still would have power to get you back home. So if you have a separate battery laying around in a boat, a recreational vehicle, uh, an unused car, something that's in good condition that you can charge up, then that's the way to go. And what I'd recommend is whatever you do, and especially if you use the single battery system, charge the battery all the way up, hook up your Christmas lights, and turn this on and run them to exhaustion or however long it is you think your parade's going to be to be sure that that battery will provide power. We had somebody this year that they were convinced that their battery was in good shape and when they turned it on 30 minutes later they had no lights. So you'll want to test that battery before you go to this solution. I'll have some more info for you in other videos. Thanks.